I've seen students um, who have experienced lots of challenges, but given the nature of the position, it's very difficult to give them the kinds of individualized supports that they really uh, need to improve. Um, RISE has come in and they've, they've provided those supports and I've seen uh, market improvement in many students. It lets them have someone to talk to and someone who shows a vested interest in who they are, aside from what is going on in the classroom. Uh, some of the students I had were chronically absent uh, throughout the school year. For a certain amount of weeks they would be doing fine and then they would drop off again and then they will come back a little bit more. But they kind of get lost in the mix, you know, and uh, they're kind of, you know, out there on their own, you know, in a way. Yeah. And the idea of having someone besides the school that's dedicated to kind of just helping them, uh, encouraging them, paying attention to them was beneficial. In terms a lot of times these students don't get the attention that they need at home and sometimes in class we can't give that one-on-one -on -one attention that they need. You're dealing with not only academic issues but social issues, um, emotional issues. and, and the Drugs, gangs, all those type of things. These are the constant um, pressures that they're experiencing throughout their high school career. Because a lot of times, you know, uh, these, the students we're talking about are students who are, as I said before, disengaged. So what happens is when they're in class, because they, you know, they don't really have any hope for themselves necessarily, or they're not performing as well, they can be, a, you know, distractive influences. Living in the South Bronx, living in Harlem, living in Brooklyn, living in Queens, it used to be nothing compared to the rest of the people. I came three days from out of jail straight to UR. So I had a, a kind of messed up mentality, you know, me being in jail. I talked to my teachers. Like, you was a CEO, like, you was nothing to me, like, you can't tell me. Before me doing my mentor, um, you want to have that camera in your head right now. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little guy, so a lot of people are that me. I became a bully, you know what I mean? Bullying the bullies. Have people put people in check. Also, I was in gangs. Everybody told me I can't express myself. And the mental program gave me somebody to talk to, you know, and had somebody like I can express my feelings to. I can talk to somebody and I feel like, damn, I'm by myself all the time. So they gave me that outlet. Everything, everything doesn't have to be something aggressive or something violent, you know. And you don't have. It's not. It's always a person that let let go of my stress. So the mental really helped me for that. So I, I basically teach, show my teachers respect. I had, I had a lot of gang life in my life. And I stepped out of that though with the mentoring program. They, they taught me a different way. It was love when I was in fifth grade. So from fifth grade with sixth grade, I would have had a mentor in sixth grade. They would have been at least walking me through, like, damn, you a blood? Like, you too young. And at least open my eyes to certain, certain realities of my life, you know, that I had to open my eyes on myself when I was incarcerated or I had to go through programs or I had to live in a shelter. And when you have someone you know, showing you that, that they care and giving you that individualized attention. I think that it, it for them, is, is almost like a, uh, you know, renewal, a, a revival of, of, of hope for themselves, you know. Um, kind of seeing that they have an opportunity um, to maybe turn the tide, you know, do, to, to, to do things differently. You definitely see changes emotionally in how the student connects with adults and other students, of how they you cope know. with others around them due to the one-on-one -on -one sessions that they've had with the leadership program. I used to argue with a lot of people. I used to put my hands on them because they always talking. Suspension. I argue with the principals. I haven't fought this whole school year because I have gotten on my back a lot. And I didn't have nobody there for me. So I wish I had that back then too. My life was so much better right now. My grades wise, my attitude and, and anger. I used to always doubt myself. And the mentors helped me. So now I'm going straight forward. Keep trying and over and over and over again and not stop it. Continue to do it. I know there's a lot of students out there that's going through it. But if they have a mentor that's always there for them, they're gonna, they're gonna be great. Bend on things, it has an impact in the entire classroom because now you have um, a student who was once maybe a distractive influence actively making you know an, an effort to to change. So just that in and of itself changes the dynamic in the classroom. But then also 
that student sets an example for other students as well. You know, it's like, wow, you know, um, this, this young person wasn't doing well and, and now, you know, look, they're, they're making an effort to change. So uh, maybe there's a possibility for me as well. Even students who aren't directly participating in the program can benefit, you know, from it in that way. I think that RISES provides an invaluable service and I really hope that we can not only keep it going, but hopefully we can expand it.